Welcome back my friends to another video here on the channel today we're going to be taking a tour of the official Super Mario World uh, website. If you don't know what Super Mario World is, it's basically a dreamland. It's a, it's a dream come true. It's basically a theme park uh, surrounding Nintendo. Uh, specifically, uh, I guess Super Mario. Uh, it's called Super N Nintendo World, but it seems more like a Super Mario World because there's not really... Mostly, for the most part, from what I understand, it's pretty much all Super Mario based. Uh, I'd love to see one that's like Legend of Zelda themed one day. That'd be so cool. But for now, we got this. Um, now, it is going to be in Japan first. Um, they have talked about making uh, one in Florida, one in California, um, one in uh, another Asian country. I can't remember where it was. I think that was it, or there might have been one other one. I can't remember. Unfortunately for me as a Canadian, we get none in Canada. We never get really cool stuff here in Canada. Well, we do, but it's very rare. Even like bands and stuff. Like, it's rare that they come here, and if they do, they come to, like, maybe three cities, and then they barely even tour Canada. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, so we're going to scroll through this. But yeah, I mean, you could build one around Toronto. Toronto's, like, Canada's New York, right? Um, anyway, so there's a bunch of different thrills. There's topics. Uh, there's a whole video. Um, we've seen a video where they did a little bit of a tour uh, recently, but um, we're going to take a look at, at the actual, you know, um, website. So, Mario Kart. We got a little bit of Mario Kart here, so we're gonna go details here first. We're gonna check this out. We're gonna go bit by bit, ride by ride. So, uh, this looks really fun. Now, this is not, like, actual go-karting from what I understand. Uh, you have steering wheels, but I, I don't know. I think those are just for fun, honestly. I think those are just to kind of give you, like, that experience of, like, yeah, I'm, I'm controlling it, but really you have absolutely no control over it. Uh, from what I understand, uh, it would be, it would have been cool either as bumper cars or actual go-karting, but then again, you know, some, some, uh, you know, younger kids probably wouldn't, you know, be able to go, go-karting. Uh, <clears throat> bumper cars, I don't know. Bumper cars isn't really racing, so it doesn't really give you that kind of, you know, idea of racing, but you got kind of attraction requirements, you know, it lasts about five minutes, apparently, uh, you got to be 122 centimeters tall, which I believe is four feet, I actually looked it up, um, earlier, but, um, 107 meters, I'm not, uh, seven centimeters, I'm not sure exa exactly, you know, what that, uh, how, how tall that is in feet, um, <clears throat> excuse me, but we have some pictures, which we kind of seen in that video that, uh, Mr. Miyamoto showed off, um, which is so cool, man. Ah, oh, it's so cool. He's he's awesome, man. He's like he's like a big kid. I love it. I love it so much. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like basically. So you all you know sit in these carts, and I guess it goes down like a track, kind of like I guess like maybe like a roller coaster, but not a roller coaster, not as intense. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Enhance your Mario Kart experience by wearing a power-up band. So we're gonna look at the power-up bands really quick. Um, we've kind of learned about these. They kind of act as amiibos. You can use them kind of as amiibos later on. Is there a thing up here? That's a cool shot. Uh, excuse me, I keep clearing my throat. It's very annoying. I'm sorry. Um, this is a really, really cool shot and, uh, and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff here. Um, so these power-up bands, there's Mario, there's Luigi, there's Yoshi, there's Princess Peach, there's Daisy, there's Toad. A bunch of really cool ones. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know which one I would like. I don't know if you get to choose. I'm assuming you get to choose. Um, I would probably go with Mario or, or Yoshi. I love Yoshi so much. Mario is Mario, you know? It's like, it's a me, Mario. Woohoo! Mamma mia! I, I can't do Mario voice very good. Anyways, tell me now, though. Which one did you guys choose? Mario, Luigi, Yoshi, Daisy, Princess Peach, or Toad? What would be your, your go-to? But you can link it to the Universal Studios uh, Japan official app to see your score, coins, and digital stamps. So basically... Uh, you can uh, use it to, you know, uh, collect virtual coins and kind of bring the experience of playing Super Mario games to, uh, you know, the real world, um, which is really, really cool. Um, it's available for purchase. Um, you know what? Oh, man, I wish they would, like you can order one and just have it like delivered to your house because I want, I kind of want, I want to collect all of these. I would buy them if I could order them to my house. I would just buy them, have them shipped to my house, and I probably never, you know, I'm, I probably don't plan to go in Japan to Japan. Uh, anytime soon, but um, you know, it's kind of far even you know despite the you know global situation we're in right now um, But uh, but yeah, the final challenge is an exciting boss battle with Bowser jr. Oh, it's so cool, dude I'm nerding out. I'm nerding out. You got all these different um, Enemies you can uh, you can you can fight which we kind of seen a little bit especially with the, the bomb on we've seen uh, we've seen that uh, <clears throat> a little bit in the prana plan. I think it was um, in the in the video Mr. Miyamoto did. This is so cool. You get the contrast of like younger people and a little bit older people. I mean, they're not old, old, but you know, kind of a mixture of like all ages. That's the idea. All ages experiencing the wonder and the fun and the beauty of Super Mario or Super Nintendo World. Ah, oh, dude, I love this so much. Um, but yeah, so after obtaining keys, team up with friends in the final uh, showdown against uh, Bowser Jr. ages five and up. 
I'm over five years old. Do I? Oh, Mario and Luigi photo opportunity. That sounds super, super exciting. Okay, so we're going to go back to the Mario Kart section here. We're going to go look uh, through it um, at the bottom. Did we miss anything? I just want to make sure we didn't miss anything. So we got a bunch of stuff we can actually look at right here. Uh, we got an interactive map. So let's go. Um, oh, boy. We can actually move it around. Let's go. Where should we go next? Where should we? Wait, hold on. Are these? these hold on. Let's go back because I think at the main page we had an option to... Um, keep scrolling so we had Mario Kart now we have like the Yoshi ride this looks so cool I don't even know what this is it doesn't look like it really moves it has to move right hang on to Yoshi as you search for Captain Toad on a treasure hunt use the captain's map to find all three mysterious eggs get a spectacular view of the Mushroom Kingdom from Mount Beanpole while having fun on this ride is perfect for the whole family I'm so excited about these things even though again I don't think I'll be able to go to Japan anytime soon but I get to have fun just looking at the website. Um, approximately five minutes as well. Uh, again, two people in the front, two people in the back. Everything's pretty much similar. Uh, <clears throat> height requirements for uh, riders with a supervising companion, only 86 meters. So this one, you could be a little bit shorter. Um, yeah, I guess that's all it really is. Um, it doesn't, hold on, is there details? It's gotta be details. Use captain's, okay. Um, take home a souvenir photo of your amazing adventure with Yoshi to Mount Beanpole. I don't know how this works, so I'm so confused. Because if you look at the picture, right? Like, is it like a track that moves along the track? Or, I don't know how that... It looks so magical. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. It's so friggin' cool, dude. Okay, let's go back to the main page again. And uh, we're going to scroll down. It's a little, it takes a little bit long to kind of load um, and whatnot. Explore the world of Mario. Super Nintendo World is full of iconic uh, elements. Or right, let's go here, I guess. <clears throat> Excuse me. U.S. or not U.S. U.S. because I'm in here. It says play. You guys can't see that because I'm probably cropping that part off. Uh, the whole land is your playground. Explore, explore the world of Mario in real life. Okay, we already seen this. We already seen that. All right, all right, we already seen that. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna continue. Uh, this is exciting. <clears throat> Sen, apologize for all the throat clearing. It's one of those days where you just can't clear it. Okay, we already seen that. Food and restaurants. We're gonna come back to this. I want to say. Oh, hold on, merchandise and shops. You know what? We could have just used the interactive map. Let's go back to the interactive map and I guess we'll go from there. So is there only like two main rides besides like all the, I mean, there's a bunch of other like fun stuff. Like, like there's the Bowser ride and the Yoshi ride. But besides that, I think it's all just interactive stuff. Like, you know, going through different parts and, you know, fighting enemies and stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think that's kind of the idea. As for Yoshi, this does look like a track right here. I don't know if you can see my cursor. My cursor is showing up in this recording. Uh, but there is a track you can see. You know, there, it's a track that Yoshi's move along. So uh, that is what that is. That looks so fun. That looks so cool. There's different spots for food, it looks like. Uh, let's go to the merch shop here. Mario Motors. Can I, can I, can I open it? Oh, I can't open it like this. Can I not? I thought we could, Yoshi Snack Island. Okay, well, we can at least see what these are. Pit Stop Popcorns. This is where you get your popcorn. Um, what's this one down here? Hold on here. This one is, uh, Kinopio's Cafe and One Up Factory. <clears throat> then you got Pre Princess Peach's Castle, which I guess is the entrance. I'm assuming this is the entrance to um, to this wonderful world. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm Super Mario World Magic. What is wrong with me? I cannot, I can't clear my throat today. Uh, all right, so let's just scroll down. Then we're gonna go oh, back to. Uh, do we go food or merch? Food or I like the food more. Ah, we'll go to the food next. <clears throat> all right, here we go. Kinopio's Cafe. We've seen a little bit on um, on that uh, video uh, with Mr. Miyamoto. But look at this. Okay, this is cool. I love food. <clears throat> I love food a little bit too much. Mario's Bacon Cheeseburger. Made for Mario himself. This burger comes complete with a mushroom bun and uh, picornio cheese. Uh, the Mario's hat shaped pick is all yours to take home. So this is kind of just like a little thing you can take home. Uh, a mushroom bun. Does that mean there's like actual mushrooms in it though? Like what's this black stuff? I don't know what that black stuff is. If you know, let me know. There's mushrooms on it though. Uh, which is kind of surprising because um, I don't know many kids like mushrooms. I mean, I guess there's some, but I don't know many. Uh, this, I can't tell what that is. Is that like tomatoes or something on the side? Or then you got some french fries. Then we got the super mushroom pizza bowl with mushroom tomato sauce. Say that two times fast. Super mushroom pizza bowl. That sounds like a tongue twister. Uh, Chef Toad's secret recipe to uh, tear open a crispy mushroom pizza crust to reveal savory tomato sauce with bacon and mushroom. So how does that work? It's a pizza bowl. So is it really a pizza or is it just kind of like 
like like spaghetti or like some kind of pasta wrapped inside of well i guess there's no noodles right i don't know that's interesting that's so again i i want to know what these black things are are they like like seeds of some sort or or what are they i don't know uh <clears throat> everything's mushroom related they got mushrooms and everything um all right so then we got the piranha plant uh car how do you say that Cat caprici? I don't know. Uh, the, uh, okay, what is it? Salad. Okay, so it's a salad with tomatoes, mozzarella cheese, and fresh basil. So, kind of, a, I guess, a little bit of a simplistic uh, thing here. But it also seems to be a strawberry. These seem to be, I don't know what this is. Is this like cottage cheese? Is it like um, some kind of cheese? Or or um, is it like the uh, whites of an egg? I'm not sure. And what, what are these? Are these cheese? No, these are cheese. No, they said mozzarella cheese. So these are cheese. Never mind. I'm, I'm an idiot. This is cheese. But what is this? I don't know what that is. The little red things. Um, and then we got the uh, the block, whatever, uh, how you pronounce that, uh, which is basically a truffle. Uh, to, how do you even say that? Tiramisu? Oh, I, don't, I don't even know what that is. But it's some kind of, I guess it's some kind of dessert, some kind of pastry. It looks like that's like whipped cream or something. And, you know, I don't know. It looks really good. I don't know what it is. If you know what it is, let me know. But it looks really, really good. Oh my goodness, is it ever really good? And then you got the popcorn. So this is really cool. Uh, why is this cut off? Okay, I don't know why that's cut off. But anyways, um, you get a Mario popcorn bucket. So I don't know where the popcorn would go because you got Mario here. But where's where's the popcorn? Is the popcorn like does this hang down and the popcorn goes in here? I don't know. Uh, and then you get the star. So the star popcorn bucket. I don't know which one I would want. Those are both really cool. Uh, but they have different kinds of popcorn, which doesn't state here what kind of popcorn, unless it's under here. Uh, and then you got Yoshi Snack Island. Okay, this looks interesting. What is this? This is... What is this? I don't know what this word is. I guess it's maybe some kind of Japanese food. I'm not sure. Um, but... Okay, so it has y y yakisoba. I don't know what that is. And cheese, which, sure, which, which will sure to be leave you shell-shocked. Uh, again, I'm not 100% sure what it is. But it looks really cool. That's all I can say. Um, what are these? Are these some kind of like smoothies or something? A yogurt lassi. So I guess that's kind of like a yogurt smoothie. Is that what a, a lassi is? I don't know. Uh, lassi, lassi. With Yoshi's favorite fruits topped with whipped cream. Pick either cantaloupe or mango. Dude, I don't even know. I don't even know which one I'd want to choose. I'd probably go with the mango. Probably. But those are both really good options, honestly. Those look so, so delicious, man. Um, and then Mario's Cafe and Store. So there's more stuff. There's all different kinds of food. Um, man. Wait, visit the Mario Cafe and store on Hollywood Boulevard for a li uh, huge lineup of food and merchandise featuring Super Mario colors and designs. Oh, so this is going to be in like actual like Hollywood? Like not in Japan? It's probably going to be in Japan too. This looks good. I don't know what this is. This is, uh, looks like a red pancake. It looks like a, a red pancake that's shaped like Mario's hat with strawberries in the middle, with some kind of strawberry sauce over top, with whipped cream. Oh my goodness. Yo, I'm hungry. I'm getting so hungry right now. I'm about to go eat, even though I just ate. Actually, yeah, I just ate. Um, and I'm starving still. Merchandise and shops. Okay. Are they going to show us? There we go. We got some lineup of some merchandise, a plush hat, glasses, uh, some gloves. You got t-shirts. You can't really check out, you know, the full line. Just, just this just kind of give you an idea. Like these plush toys. These are just two examples. So we don't have every example, um, you know, given to us. And I think I think that's pretty much it. I think we've toured the whole the whole website. So yeah, that's the Super Mario, uh, not Super Mario, Super Nintendo World website. Let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments below. Again, you can you know go get tickets and whatnot. Uh, what is this here? Um, yeah, we've already checked all this stuff. So that's that's pretty much it. That was a fun experience. I liked it. I liked it a lot, but I uh, hope you guys liked it as well. <laughs> Again, thought I'd do a quick little tour of this uh, website for you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys plan to go to uh, to Japan to uh, visit Super Nintendo World or or not at some point. Um, you know, hopefully the state of the world kind of calms down. Everything normalizes a little bit more. But, uh, you know, eventually, like I said, they're going to be uh, planning to build one in California, in Florida. Um, and again, I can't remember where it was. Like it was another Asian country. Can't remember. Basically, all the locations where you could find like a Disneyland. Uh, essentially, it seems like they're going to be building a Super Nintendo World there as well. Uh, which again, I really wish we would get one in Canada. Like Toronto is the perfect area. Um, you know, it's it's like it's like the New York of Canada. Come on, come on, Nintendo, uh, Nintendo Universal. You guys got to do it. You got to bring one to Canada. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. 
I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, stay safe, stay well. Catch you guys soon another one. Tell them, friends. Game on. Thanks for watching.